good, and each area has its distinctive way of laying hedges. No fences here, the banks have probably been quite heavily grazed by well, the stock over yeah. here, so you get a bit of damage to the to the hedges, they might have been nibbled back. So do you reckon they'd have had the tree there, cut it down completely, and then just let that growth come back up? Yeah, I mean, quite often, you know, if you see mature trees in hedges and they want to reduce the number of the trees in the hedgerow, they'll coppice them mm -hmm. um, right down, and then the re allow it to regrow. I like the, um, the pointy thing. It's probably not as long as this, but then yeah. you would lay that, and you could lay a lot of that um, to re-establish the... The actual, okay. I bet there's a, uh, I bet not many people know how to do that anymore. Sorry? I said that's probably a bit of a lost skill, isn't it? Yeah, there's a, there are a few people that do that around this area. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not a, mm. it's not a big but it's very effective when you think that you've got land for farming and then you need to create firewood and a bit of shelter. It's actually yeah. a very effective way of sort yeah. of creating your own... Um, we lay our hedges, well, I lay the hedges around the garden at home, it creates a lot of firewood actually. I do them about every three years. Because we cut down um, some just along the, this bank actually, in fact, and um, we've probably got our wood for next winter. Not for the camping season, yeah. we'll need to get some in, yeah. but just for our own personal use.